Hi families, my name is Holly Compton. I'm the district math coach for Manhattan Beach. And today I'm going to share with you one of the story problems that we're gonna try out this week. And this story problem is called a join uh, result unknown. So basically your children are gonna get two numbers to join together. So they're gonna know these two numbers and then they're going to try to figure out what the result is, right? So we're going pretty simple, pretty basic. We're gonna get started slow in the school year to ramp up things in just a little bit. And one thing that we're really gonna do is make sure that your children are focusing on strategies. So the first question I'm gonna give them in our number talk today, which is like a little warm up before a story, is going to be 60, six zero plus seven, which is obviously 67. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask them what 59 plus seven is. 59 plus seven. So I'm gonna hope they're gonna connect on to that idea of 60 plus seven is 67. So 59 plus seven would obviously be one less. So we don't even have to count or do any kind of real work. Honestly, you're just thinking about this one first. And then basically you're just subtracting one off. So most kids will start using strategies like this, especially in second grade, because they've had um, this kind of instruction in first grade last school year. So they might do something like this. What we are not going to do is this. We're not going to show our children this. Not yet, because that's not really a strategy that we're gonna start the year off with. We really want them to make the connections between numbers, because this will make them better, faster mathematicians down the road. All right, so we're gonna hold off on this, and we're gonna let them make connections. Another way your child might uh, try to solve this is by doing um, 59 plus seven and stealing one away from the seven and leaving six and then joining this to make a 60, and they know they have six left, so 66. So then when we get to our story, it's gonna be the same type of situation. So we have jelly beans. Brooke has, hmm, jelly beans. Declan gives her, hmm, more. How many jelly beans does Brooke have now? And you'll notice that I have number choices down here. So some kids may still be working here, or maybe they really wanna refine a strategy and they're gonna pick this number set here, but then maybe they'll try another number set on the back and they'll try this one or this one. This is really outside of second grade. So if you if your child is really feeling like they've got it, they've got a really strong, super good strategy, then they can go for that last one at the end, but let's not push them there until they're ready. Okay, so maybe they'll try this strategy here. Brooke has seven jelly beans. Declan gives her 19 more. How many jelly beans does Brooke have now? And they're going to take some of the strategies that we did in the number talk and apply it now onto their paper. So they can use paper and pencil. So they would be doing 7 plus 19. So maybe they would steal that one away and make 20. And now they know it's 6 plus 20. So that would make 26. So we're gonna let our kids kind of explore. If they need to use math tools, it's very important that we let them because they're making connections with tools too. All right, I hope that helps. I'll see you next week for more parent tips. Bye.